What's up, what's up? My name is Mara. I'm going to be interviewing a brother here who will be telling us his story, how he left Europe for Africa just to build his own uh, empire here. And actually, we are in Mozambique. And for those people who know is Mozambique, people don't speak uh, English or they don't speak Spanish, but they speak Portuguese. It's one of those unique countries in Africa, Mozambique, Angola, and some small... Verde, yeah, some Guinea-Bissau. Yeah, Guinea-Bissau. Yes. So this is our brother here, gonna be introducing him. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. What's up guys, my name is Marwa, today is very very special because I'm meeting a brother here and uh, this is very special because he was telling me a story how he left Europe to come back home to build home, you know, when I talk about home I'm talking about Africa and you know it's really encouraging for people out there, maybe you are a, an African living very far away from Mama Africa and you're wondering like man when, when will I go home, how will I start, maybe I've lived in Europe for so long or in the US for so long. Hey, uh, what's your name? I am Adelino Jen. Adelino Jen. Actually, I'm going to be putting his Instagram and all his email in the link below. So please ensure you check right there. And he'll be telling us a short story. So you told me uh, you left Africa when you were young and went to Europe yes. to look for greener pastures. Yes. So how was your journey and what brought you back here? Okay, I left Africa for, to Europe. Yeah. I went there to study. To study. Yes. yes. Then yeah. I finished my studying. Yeah. I I trying to stay in Europe. Yes. And I work there uh, maybe I think four years. Four years. Four years. Yes. But I realized that uh, my home yes. is it's still here home. in Africa. Why? 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 Because you know because you know many young many young Africans when they just want to leave Africa and uh, they just want to go and look for like better life and everything. And sometimes also when we are we as Africans we are crossing the immigration, they always think like we are going to their home to to look for a better life or search for this like money and be rich or something. So what happened and you came back, you know? Yes, uh, what happened is that uh, I realized that in Europe yeah. I can't grow yes. in the way I want to, to grow. grow. Yes. That's why I think that uh, I can be back in uh, Africa. In Africa, yes. And uh, I will build in to build here, Africa. To build in Africa, yeah. Yes. You know, actually, I totally agree with you because sometimes even me when I'm so far away, I love driving maybe in the roads of America or other but at the same time I always say when will be my when will my home be like this you know exactly. so yeah so you've started a new business here in Africa yes. and I see already you're constructing and doing everything She's obsessed with this, this, this stuff. She may choose a house just based on this. So maybe, my bro, if you're watching this, you should register that you have abided. <laughs> Very nice empire here in real estate. So what encouraged you to start like a, 
your business now or tell us what your business is about for those people who don't know yes then, yes yeah my business is a space to stay holidays yes, yes. Uh, so real estate yes real estate real yeah. estate in holidays yeah. or yeah. in tourism when you want to rest yes you can choose morabeza house morabeza. so morabeza is his uh, space where he's creating or uh, his his uh, real estate, but it's more into tourism, more into the chill place. Maybe you're so tired out there, and it's very close to South Africa. So if maybe you in South Africa, or you are flying close to South Africa, you're like, hey, Mozambique is right here. It's actually at the border, like yes. it's like a three right. minute, five minutes yes. drive yeah. from the border, right? So you can always uh, come here and just chill, and it's very popular spot very popular even if there's COVID still we see a lot of tourists here so what can you encourage other guys out there you know maybe people are watching from europe uh, especially a uh, young or no matter the age black yes. people watching who maybe you know sometimes when we go out there life can even be very difficult for us out there and we fear coming back home you're like yes. what will i show my parents or my brothers they will say i was in america and i'm going back with nothing okay. you know and people get so stressed out there yeah okay i want to tell my brothers yes, in, and sisters, in yes. sisters in yeah. europe yeah that it's not true what they telling you yeah about Africa. About Africa. Yeah. It's not all true. Yes. You can come here and see in your eyes. Yes. Yeah. You can come here. They are lying for you. Yes. And yeah. one thing, you know, what he said, and I took that point very serious, is uh, he decided to leave because he felt like he was going to get an opportunity to grow in Africa, which is very true because, you know, in other places you can't find the same growth you're going to grow here, you know like building houses, buying new land, and trying to even, even your career, just normal career, because yes, yes. other places people will be like, oh, I, I think, I think uh, uh, you need A, B, C, D, or, or even the, it's very expensive even to rent a house in a, let's say, one bedroom in a big city, you know? Yes. But in Africa, you find that that money can take you, you can even rent for three, four months, you know? You know, I have been in Europe 10 years. 10 years. I know, I, I, you can't save money in you yes 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 you get it get it and you use it use it yeah wow. but here in africa yeah it's possible to do many things yes with the, nearly the same money the same money yes that you are getting. yes so my brothers and sisters out there who are saving save something first come and visit come meet our brother here yes and I'm going to be putting his email here if you're coming to Mozambique. He can give you tips. Even if you're not coming to Mozambique, you can have a conversation. And uh, Yes, I will help yes. everyone who want to, thank to you. see business here. And also you can come and stay at his place. So yes. the funny thing is he had invited us to stay here, but I didn't see his uh, message on Instagram until the last day. That I'm here. Yeah. But anyway, I think next time when I come, yes. I'll be staying here. Thank you so, so much. I really thank appreciate you, my brother. Mara. And uh, please, you guys. You are a great man. Thank you, man. I really appreciate. Yeah. I really appreciate. And also, I appreciate you for welcoming us here. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank We're 
at yeah. the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.